Hi guys, thank you and welcome back to my channel. So this week we're going to go in and do something a little bit more different and doing something outside of our comfort zone. And we're going to go in and create this makeup look right here. Also, we're going to do a quick unboxing of the March Box Tea Charm and create some of the products in this month box to create this makeup look right here. So if you're interested in this makeup look, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below. Ring the bell button right here. I post on YouTube every single Wednesday. Also, a shorter version on IGTV every single Friday. And with that said, don't forget to follow me on all my social media at bella.c.snow. Okay, let's go unboxing the boxy charm to create this makeup look. Okay, before we starting on the makeup look, let's go in and unboxing this boxy charm from March. Boxy charm, really quick to see what's inside and see if can if there's anything in here that we can use. What's this makeup look right here? So just to start out with this makeup look, I already went in and did my little skin prep. And the skin prep I went in to use is the Embryolis uh, Moisturizer. So I use this moisturizer every single time I does my makeup because it's hydrating enough for my skin to like suck it in and make all the formulation and fo uh, foundation glide a little bit more better. And since this box has a uh, primer the, from Benefit, the professional primer right here, so this is the package in the front. So this one is made for hydrate for more drier skin to keep your skin more hydrated. This is the powerful, the professional plus 12 hour hydration, minimize the look of pores and fine lines, instantly moisture and refresh, prime to help makeup stay put. Top secret ingredient in here have hyaluronic acid to attract moisture and help maintain hydration. Shea butter known for smooth and moisturizing. Okay, so when you open the package right here, here is the package inside. It is blue for hydrations. So this came out kind of like the professional kind of color. Um, it's more like a skin tone kind of thing, but feel a little bit more hydro, more hydrating. So I'm just going to use this much right here for primer. I'm just going to put that right where I feel a little bit more drying and I feel like where I feel I need a little bit more uh, pore coverage because usually I have a little bit more texture right here on my cheek area and around my nose. So that's just where I'm going to put it right in there, really press it in. It's still nice. It feels kind of like the same thing as the professional one, so I haven't felt like the different. I guess it's glide a little bit more better rather than the professional have a little bit more um, silicone like feeling because they have the feeling of the pores. But so far, this does feel kind of like the same. And my skin just feels a little bit drier today because I was laying out in the sun tanning because it was um, sunny in LA for like a day or two, so I just the outside one is like 80 degree. So so far this um, primer feel nice, it feel hydrating and it's I feel like it does kind of um, pore minimizing. It's not as much pore, mini pore minimizing as the original pore minimum pore, uh, tongue twister pore, pore minimizing primer from Benefit. But it's actually really hydrating. But the test is to see how it's gonna work under makeup. So now I'm just gonna let it rest there for like a few seconds before I put on my foundations. Because sometimes when you put on layer after layer after layer without letting them set in there or let them dry, um, sometimes it just doesn't work. So just have to wait for the primer to like stay in there for a little bit to settle in and then put on your foundation. So the foundation I'm gonna go in this week is uh, from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is the Light Wonder from Charlotte Tilbury and the color I'm using is in medium six. I haven't used this one forever. So this one is more like a light to medium coverage. Uh, it's not gonna be as full coverage. It's gonna give you a little bit more dewy finished skin. It's more like natural looking skin rather than more like a full coverage makeup. Then now with a bronzer brush, I'm just gonna go in and dab a little bit of that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that all over my skin. And for complexion, I always like to go in more like a really sheer layer first. And that sometimes almost already cover all my redness. And if I need a little bit more coverage, I'm just gonna go in with another layer or with a concealer right on top. And that should be good enough. And I always feel like the best 
makeup day is always like the sheerest foundation day. And next up is for concealer, I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite, the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer and the color I'm using it is in Nude. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right in here. So I always try not to put so much because a little bit go a long way out. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the corner of my lips, center of my forehead. And sometimes I just like to sit there to let it kind of like, um, not thick enough, kind of dry out a little bit because when you blend it out right now, it's kind of like still liquidy but if you wait for a minute for it to get a little bit more tacky and blend it, blending it out, it's still going to give you a little bit more fuller coverage that way. And now with my concealer brush right here, I'm just going to go ahead and lightly blending out on my concealer on my under eye. And I've been liking to use um, brushes a lot lately because I feel like you get to feel the products rather than using the beauty blender to blending out everything and sometimes the beauty blender just taking too much of what you want so by using the makeup brushes like a sealer brush to get a little bit more control and you can also keep um, uh, use it to give you a little bit more precision of where you want to put your concealer or blend your concealer into and then afterwards you can always go in with a beauty blender and merge all the layers together okay and now that concealer is in there and one of the trick i'd like to do is when you're using more like a sheer foundation and you want to build that foundation sheer foundation to more like a medium to more like a full of coverage and instead of keep packing it uh one after the other one after the other layers right on top of each other use a really thin layer right on top first afterward go in with your concealer like i just did right now and do all your color color correcting and then right after that put on another sheer layer on top so i call it like the sandwich so you put a sandwich of like a foundations and then concealer color correcting and then another layer of foundation right on top kind of like merge all the layers together that way you're going to get a little bit more evenly balanced skin tone with your foundations and now I'm just going to go in and give my skin a little bit more glow and I'm going to use the Hollywood Flawless Filter so this one my all time favorite uh, secret for glowing skin so this one you don't have to use all over face you can uh, it's going to give you a little bit more like a glowing glowing from within so I'm just majority put this on my highest point of my cheek where I want a little bit more uh, shine I use the way I put my highlighter that's where I use this uh, formulations so I'm just going to put a little bit right there and either using a beauty blender I'm just going to go in using the same foundation brush I used before and now I'm just going to go ahead and lightly blend everything out so I'm just going to try to stay focused on this more like a higher cheek area because I want the glow and the dewiness to stay right here and nowhere else because if you put this all over your face you could also get too much glowy and it could look a little bit more too greasy or you could look a little bit more like a mint. So, and now that I blend everything in with my brush, now I'm just going to lightly impress everything down with my beauty, beauty blender to merge all the layers together. So now for contouring, you can either go in with more like a cream contouring and you just can just skip this step and go into bronzer but I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with cream contouring because I have to do a photo right after this and it looked a little bit more better with cream contouring it showed up better with flashes so the color of cream contouring I usually go to is from the Tartist Pro, Pro Glow palette and in here is have the shade right down here called shade so this is more like a cream contouring shade it's have a little bit more cooler tone and with that color you can you just go in with more like a stipple brush like this Right here to help you blend i'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush right here that i used earlier for my moisturizer so i'm just gonna use because it's still kind of damp and i can have a lot, lot of control with this one so i'm just gonna use that and kind of tap it into where i wanted it for my contouring to be and now i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it upward and normally i like to put the tan toward the cream contouring on the back of my hand i have a little bit more controlling that way rather than you just uh, putting on your brush and then slap on your face sometimes you get a little bit too much product so I always put a little bit product onto my brush tap them on the back of my hand like this so kind of like saturate it out a little bit so you don't get too much product all in at once and you can always building up the products in more afterward rather than trying to blending it out 
and you can always go back with your uh, foundation brush before and that's gonna help blending out everything also because you already have your foundation colors in there and also using a smaller brush right on the back of my hand I'm gonna use that as my nose contouring brush so again wipe a little bit on the back of your hand so you have a little bit more control of where you're gonna place your contouring shade and with a fluffy brush I'm just gonna go in and kinda help blend everything out on the nose contouring and with a smaller brush gonna help you um, blend a little bit more precise rather than using like a beauty blender to go in or um, larger brush so this one I'm just gonna try to make everything really precise and stay exactly where I want it to be rather than it's gonna blending everything out it's kind of like the closer you put your contouring line right here the more snatched your nose gonna be so I'm trying to keep it as close as possible but not too wide not to blending out too much and for the center I want it to be really bright so I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Vanishing Concealer right here this one is in the color cotton so this one is slightly too light for my under eye but I'm just gonna put that a little bit on the center of my nose because I'm just gonna drag that little line right down the center to keep my nose bridge a little bit more brighter and straighter and now with a fluffier brush, I'm just going to use that to kind of like a concealer brush-ish and blending out that concealer to keep all the contouring line as center as possible and keep my outer side of my nose and nostril to bring everything other light to in a little bit more closer. And everybody knows it's like more different and this is just how I like to do my nose contouring. And then for the nose, the center, I'm just going to go ahead and keep that as straight as possible now just go in and lightly set everything down i'm gonna go in first with the laura mercier translucent powder right here and with a little bit of translucent powder i'm just gonna use that to set my under eye on the bridge of my nose so practically everywhere on my t-zone and i use the laura mercier translucent powder on my under eye to um help set it because it doesn't have any color and i don't want my under eye to be a little bit too dark i want to keep it as bright as possible so now for my outer perimeter of my face i'm just gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder right here and then the color i'm using is in medium too it's right here so it's one of my favorite um powder and finishing powder so now i'm just going to swirl my same brush right in there now i'm just going to go in and set my entire face mostly on my outer perimeter because this color does have a little bit more um a color in it so that's i don't want that to be on my center of my eyes so i'm just going to use that on my outer perimeter to set everything else and you don't always have to set everything either depends on your skin type mostly i just set on my t-zone and that's it and the next part i'm just gonna go in to warm up my face a little bit more because the contouring line is a little bit more like a cooler tone now i'm just gonna bring in a little bit more warmer tone i'm just gonna go and put on the bronzer and the bronzer i'm gonna go in is from the jua new bronzer right here so the color i'm using is medium to deep duo and the color is sun kiss and sunset this is the color right here so i'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward um how i place the bronzer because it's gonna be the same place where i put my contouring and everything else so okay so now that all my cream contouring and my bronzer is right in there uh one of the trick i like to do at this moment right now is i kind of like to put on my highlighter on to bake it in before i put on all my baking powder and my eye makeup so with that i'm just gonna go in with uh, the same tartis um palette right here with this two color right here it's a little bit more warmer called lit and fire it's more like a neutral warm bronzy highlighter so what i do is i like to go in with my light highlighter color right there and kind of like dip into that two color because it's a little bit more kind of like um bronzing color and not exactly highlighting color i'm just gonna Go ahead and put that on my highest point of my um, cheek wherever I'm gonna put a brighter highlight on later so this one gonna help kind of like help merge all your skin together so it's not gonna be so bright as a uh, highlighter later but still more like an inner glow for your like your skin kind of glowing a little bit by using a highlighter that's kind of like closer to your skin tone uh, one of my favorite one is actually from Becca Cosmetics called Oppo. That's such a good color. So this one is kind of like similar to that one. It's a little bit more warmer um, to the skin. 
and since I have a little bit more golden undertone this work really well and with like a small precision fluffer brush I'm just like to go in with this color right here called Stunna it's on the same palette it's a little bit more champagne color so I like to use that one on the center bridge of my nose as my highlighter and again don't put on too much because you're gonna put on a little bit more brighter highlight highlighter on later this is kind of like baking your highlighter into ooh, almost dropped my mirror so this is kind of like baking your highlighter into your complexion it's kind of like uh, you put a baking loose powder right on top to bake into your skin to make it a little bit more brighter this is kind of like baking your highlighter into your foundation does that make sense make sense because your body temperature take a while for it to like process and warm up all the formulations so right now we're kind of like in a cooking uh, process with the foundation and everything to merge together so I'm just like to put on my highlighter right in there to kind of like another ingredient for it to bake into my skin so everything gonna merge together a little bit more better later when my body temperature kind of like warmed up hope that makes sense and then with an angle brush I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, kind of help blend everything together with the bronzer and the highlighter so after spraying what with the uh, rose water that's practically all the basics of how i do my complexions and if you want to keep it like dewy and natural and everyday usually i just do that and just put on some blushes mascara and everything and um what is this and vaseline on my lip to keep my lip more hydrated and that's going to be done for my like everyday makeup to go out the house and since now it's, we're going to do a little bit more glam makeup i'm just going to go ahead go ahead and bake my face to keep everything a little bit more sharper and a little bit more uh, sculpt so the big I'm gonna go in is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder right here the loose powder and the color I'm using is in bananas so I'm just gonna use a little bit of this one under my jawline right here also slightly under on the side of my nose to keep everything a little bit more uh, sharp and tight and slightly under my eye and another trick I like to do while my face is kind of like baking is to put on blush and what it does is again it's kind of like bake into your skin and merge everything all the layer together so the blush I'm using today is from the Milani Luminoso this one is more like a peachy tone blush so while you're baking um, just use your brush and put on a little bit more blush and this gonna help merge everything together and once you dust up your, your baking powder everything is kind of like seamless so with a brush, I'm just going to put right a little bit of Luminoso blush right on my cheek. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring it up all the way up where my bronzer and highlighter are going to be. Now that we're waiting for our bake to be baked, now we're just going to go in to do our eyeshadow makeup. So first, I'm just going to go in like usual using my P. Louise base right here as my eyeshadow base. And the color I'm using is again, is Rumor 01. So with that a little bit on the back of my hand, I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my lid. And for the makeup look today, I'm in the mood for purple. So I believe we're just going to do a really editorial, glam, purple makeup look. Yeah, we do that. So the palette I'm going to go in is from the Amrizi. So I did a review of this palette before, so I'm just going to leave the link right down here for you to see if you want to watch that uh, review using the MBC palette when it's first released and so yeah so now we're just gonna go and do a makeup look using the MBC palette and again here is all the colors we're just majority gonna go in and use all the purpley color and neutral color to create this makeup look so the first color with a fluffy brush I'm gonna go in with the color wasted right here it's more like a natural neutral um color so i'm just going to use that color all over my lid more like a wash to kind of like set my uh eyeshadow primer and it's pretty close match to my eye my um skin color also and the next color i'm going to go in is the color right here called new york there is more like a neutral colors so i'm just going to use that to create more like a dimension of the crease so again i'm just going to put that right on the outer corner so i'm just going to nest that right into my socket line i'm just going to 
do a circle of motion and kind of blend it all the way upward into my brows color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything towards my brows so, because we're gonna do a really dramatic um, makeup look this week. And with the neutral color, I always like to bring it all the way inward towards my nose contouring. If you see this line right here, I want to create that more like a natural continuous line all the way around my brows. So with that, I'm just gonna bring from my brows bone right here and kind of like do a circle swoop and right into my nose contouring and the reason why I go in with more like neutral color first rather than just slap on like the main dominant purple color because I want kind of want to shape uh, shape out where I want my all my color to be so with the brown color the neutral color is kind of like a road map to where I want the shape to be later what I put on my purple color because I don't want to kind of like put on the such a dark purple color and then I can't find trying to figure out what shape I want it. So the easiest way to go in first is going with more like a neutral color to define and create the shape that you want and then afterward go in and add in the other colors. And with a flat brush, I'm just gonna put the same color New Yorker as like a shadow contouring shade on my bottom lash line. So I always dust this because I have a little bit more like a pout right under my eye. So kind of like to cover that or to give an illusion that it's not there you use more like a contouring shade right underneath and another trick I like to do when you do baking is when you um, to define where your eye shape is you kind of create an illusion of where that line you want to be so with a really sharp line you just want to do a little bit big right there at the end so you all the colors you're going to stay right on above that um, baking line so with that it's just gonna give you more like a sharper line when you do your eyeshadow and also you can kind of like see where your wing liner is gonna lay doing it that way and now with a smaller fluffy brush I'm just gonna go in and with the color Selma right here so this is gonna be my dominant color this one is a little bit more like a plump color so now with that I'm just gonna press that right on the outer uh, corner of my eyes and since I'm going to do more like a halo right on the center I'm just going to kind of skip the center so right now I'm just practically just packing on the color where I want it to be I haven't blend everything out so I'm just going to put that right on the outer corner and with a little bit more I'm just going to put right on the center on the inner corner and don't be afraid to blend it upward because this makeup look I'm just going to create a really bold purple eye makeup look so the shape is kind of going to be like this and now with um, the fluffy brush that you used before with the neutral color I'm just going to go ahead and go in and kind of like blend everything around the center right here and then blend out all the edges and bring it all the way up to my brows so this makeup look I wanted to look a little bit more like blown out really have more like a gradient really dark in the center of my eyes then have a little bit more gradient outward so it's more a little bit more like an editorial eye makeup look. You can always wear this every day if you could just tone it down a little bit and just bring it closer closer a little bit to your eyes. So after that, your eye is going to look kind of like this and don't be afraid to like blend everything in and out and upward. If you happen to kind of like go into the center a little bit, it's be okay because we're gonna, you can always go into the center and kind of like cleaning up later with the P. Louise base. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. So the whole process of this is practically just pack on a little bit of color as you build up the other saturation because you want it to be really bold. So you just pack on a lot of color, pack it in there and then blend it out. Pack it in there and blend it out and over time you get this like perfect color saturation that is really darker on the inner corner and then everything when you blown out is a little bit more lighter so just packing out all the color and then blend it out okay so after you pack the color in you blend you pack your pen in, you pack you blend it's just gonna take you a little bit and you're gonna come to like this point I might look a little bit evil right now because with other contouring and then the exaggerated makeup but the next step I'm gonna go in is to clean up the line right on the center right here so if you can see my line is not really even uh, this one is show a little bit more than this one. It's kind of like disappearing. So now I just want to try to make those two lines as the same as possible. So again, I'm just going to go in with the P. Louise base right here a little bit on the back of my hand. 
and with a really flat uh, clean brush I'm just gonna tap a little bit of pillowies and kind of like determine where the center of your eye is trying to make it as straight of a line as possible so it can look kind of like that and doing the same thing look straight and do the same thing on the other eye so now with a flat brush I'm just gonna go in with the color Anastasia so this one is just a slight of pinker rose gold tone um, metallic -y color so I just want to create a little bit pop on the center so I'm just going to use a flat brush and press that right in the center when I do my cut crease pack that color in you can also use your finger uh, the best way to use to pack on metallic or any shimmer color is use your finger so just a little bit on your finger and just look forward and pack it in and sometimes your finger is going to help blend out the shape also and now that you got like that pop right on the center just going to go in with the buffing brush and again just blend everything in because you don't want any harsh line anywhere and just before i'm going to go in to do my tie line now i'm just going to go in with a really dense brush looking like this so this is a sephora brush number 29 uh, so now I'm just going to go in and press that into the color cupcake right here. So this is more like a metallic lavender color. So now with that color, I'm just going to go in and put that right inside my tea duct right in here on my inner corner to create a little bit more brighter shade. Just right in there. So when you turn, you can see a little bit more like a shimmer metallic purple shift right on your inner corner to brighten that corner up a little bit more. And next up, I'm just going to go in with an uh, eyeliner right here. So I'm using the Morphe eyeliner called Midnight. You can use any other black eyeliner that you want. I'm just going to go in and tight line and draw a wings and I'll be right back. And now I'm just going to leave the ma eye makeup right there because it's practically almost done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go in and do my brows, slap on my contacts, dust off my big and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here I am back with the almost finished makeup look. So let's break down what I did during the break. Okay, so I did went in and do my brows. So the brow product that I did went in that I always do my brows with is actually from the Sephora Retractable Brows Pencil. And the color I'm using is in chocolate brown. So that's what I use on my brows. Also, I went in to powder the brows a little bit using the brow zing. The color I'm using is in number 5 and this one have like um, the two duo color right here so I'm using the powder and the powder is called number 5 and I also went in and did my lip liner and the lip liner that I went in to do is from the KKW Beauty New Lip Liner because I want to be a more like a neutral nude with a bold eye look and the color I'm using is in nude 1.5 for the lip liner and for the actual lip color, the lipstick, I went in with the Marc Jacob. This one right here. And the color is called Fawn Over Me, number 452. And this one is more like a matte liquid lipstick. And I love this formulation because it doesn't, it doesn't get so matte or so drying like some of the formulations. It's a little bit more like a flexible matte. And I want it to be as matte as possible for this makeup look because the eye look is so bold and out there i wanted the, the eye to be more like a dominant look for this makeup look that's why i went to be more like more like a neutral lip color plus i love neutral lip color anyway and then for the mascara and the lashes the mascara that i went in to use is from the dior show it's my all-time favorite dior show number 090 and this one is the black one it's not a waterproof one it's just regular black one with a really big and fluffy brush right here which is going to give you more separation and volume this is my all-time number one mascara that i use every single time beside that going to be the two face bear and the sex mascara to give you a little bit more volume but that formulation is a little bit more drying the duo uh, mascara is a little bit more hydrating to my lashes that's how i feel and for the lashes itself, I did went in and use the Muse X lashes right here. And the lashes that I went in to use is called On Fleek. It's one of my new favorite lashes because it have a little bit more longer out towards the end. It give you a little bit more like a feline look rather than a full um, rounded lashes, which doesn't really suit my eye shape. So I always tend to go to be a little bit more uh, cat light or a little bit more longer on the end for the lashes and with that lashes you can always go on to miss x beauty lashes 
MissXBeauty.com. I'm going to leave the link right down below and use the code CONTINUE for extra 20% off on your purchase. And yeah. And now we're just going to go in and do a highlighter. And in the box, there is a highlighter in the box. It's called the Illu... The... Um, um, what's this thing called? Iconic Illuminator. The color is in original. So this one is more like a liquid um, highlighter. I'm like really nervous to use this highlighter because I don't know if this was going to do with my makeup. So we're just going to go ahead and try. It's either going to make it look good or it's practically going to ruin my makeup. So we're going to try it. So I'm just going to be really careful with it. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand because I don't want to put right on my skin and I don't know what's going to happen. And then I'm just going to go in with a small fluffy brush. I'm kind of blending out using my brush. And then I'm just going to slowly adapt it that onto my skin. Actually, I'm going to go in with a bigger brush and put that right on the back of my skin. And then slowly tap that right on top. I'm not sure how much I like it. I think it's like a certain look. If you do it more like Instagram makeup, kind of like this. It's kind of like Instagram makeup look. It's really like bold and out there. You don't wear this every day. It's more editorial. Um, then I guess you can pack it on. But for every day, I think I'm not going to use liquid highlighter that much because it's kind of hard to control. Plus, it sometimes it does get a little bit too metallic, it's just too popping because usually I don't like to have really like a stripe up highlighter right there. I just want it to be a natural glow. But this one, the more you pack on it, the more stripe you get, the more Instagram highlight you get. So it's kind of hard to like control it. So now I'm just gonna go with a smaller brush and do the same thing right under my under brows. So I feel like this highlighter right here is kind of like the um, the Jaclyn Hill highlighter but in a bottle. So because this too is really high pigmented. And I did do a review with the Jaclyn Hill highlighter on my last video. So I'm gonna leave the link right down below so you can see uh, how this works with my uh, makeup look and how I like or don't like about it about this one but just for the sake of the look I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on my nose highlighting and for blushes again I'm just gonna go over a little bit more with the Milani blushes in Luminoso the one that we put on before and another product that we haven't used yet is the iconic London plumbing lip right here so now I'm just gonna put a little bit on my lips actually to give it a little bit more gloss and it actually tastes like it's minty I'm not into the color but it doesn't show up that much it doesn't bother bother me that much but I haven't feel it plumping yet but it's feel like I have a cooler effect it's like tingly it's like minty it just it tastes like gum like minty gum so yeah, so I think that's about it. If I happen to miss anything, I'm gonna leave like the link right down below or all the products that I use below if I, have, if I happen to forgot to mention any of the products. So yeah, so here is the final makeup look for this week. If you happen to like this makeup look right here, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below and ring the bell button right here for next week notification. I post on YouTube every single Wednesday. Also a shorter version on IGTV every single Friday. And with that said, don't forget to follow me on all my social media at bella.c.no. Oh, and if you happen to like to create this makeup look during quarantine, or I feel like quarantine is like the best time for you to like practice different techniques, um, doing different things with your makeup. Like it's like a trial run for your makeup. If you happen to do this makeup look, don't forget to take a picture and send it to me. I would give you a shout out on the video. I think that's why we're gonna start doing the video is doing shout out with the makeup looks so send me all your photo the photo that you create recreating any of my makeup look or any of the photos that you want me to do a makeup look of yeah so just send me on the dm and again i'll see you again next wednesday stay safe wash your hands wash your face stay indoor and that's all thank you Bye.